Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about curating content in order to build your social media presence. When I talk about curating content, I'm really talking about really what like a curator at a museum, going out and collecting objects and information and presenting the best to an audience. And what I do when I curate content is I go out online every week and I find great articles and tips and tricks and things that other people have written. And I like bringing those pieces of content to the attention of the folks who read my stuff and to the folks who follow me on my different social networks. By doing this, I'm doing two things. First of all, I really love sharing this information. It's something that I enjoy, and I like passing on good things and good information that I've read. But second, I also like helping people. And I think that by sharing this information, I think that uh, I believe that I'm helping folks find out more about how to operate online and how to do things and how to do them in more and better and efficient ways. So I like content curation for those reasons. And what I want to show you today is how I curate content every week using my newsletter and then social media networks and how that has led to the growth of my social media uh, reach and the uh, presence that I have on different social media networks. So it all starts with my newsletter. I send a newsletter out and you can see here you can sign up for my newsletter on my site. But I send a newsletter out to my members once a week on Friday mornings. And typically I'll have a thought of a day. And or of the week and I'll also do um, if I have some new content I'll put that there but the key for today's uh, video is the weekly link roundup and a weekly link roundup is where I take the 10 items that I found or the best 10 pieces of content I found that week and I gather these up all during the week as I'm reading different uh, blogs and RSS feeds and, and social media sites and I present them here for people along with a little bit of um, you know, my take on what's going on. So for example, I found um, a great article, seven ways to get your website ready to convert the traffic that's coming in. So in other words, if you're doing publicity and having people coming to your website, here are seven ways to turn those folks into customers. So that's one way, one article. Um, here's another article here was, uh, let's see, the 10 must-have business apps for 2011. So I like tools online, I like applications online, and here's an article from Entrepreneur about some that you may or may not have heard about. So again, I like sharing this information with my newsletter subscribers and sending these out to folks so that they can see them. But it doesn't stop there because I send this information to my newsletter subscribers on Friday so they get all of these links up front first um, before anybody else but then I go out to Hootsuite and Hootsuite is not an application that I use um, to manage Twitter and Facebook and you know different uh, social networks kinda of brings them all together so I can see them um, and uh, you know in different streams and you know from different lists and things like that but they have this new area called publisher and they allow me to schedule my messages so what I do is I take that list of 10 articles and I go ahead and I schedule these out here for the whole week and I do this on Monday morning so every Monday morning I sit down and I will schedule two a day so this is one going out to um, Twitter and the same article going to Facebook Twitter Facebook and so on and so forth now I don't schedule all of my social media activity um, I believe that social media is a place where you really need to interact and talk with people but this lets me take my curated content and put it out there for folks so I have a steady stream of information going out uh, that's useful to people so even when I can't be present in social media I'm still sort of active but it's certainly not a replacement for actually being in social media and building relationships and talking to people so again this is just curation and content curation bringing the best tools and articles to my audience so what happens when I put an article out here I'm very careful so here's this 18 social networks for entrepreneurs and if you saw my newsletter that was one of the articles but I want to make sure that the person who I'm quoting out here I am going to let them know that I quoted them so when I make my Twitter message <clears throat> I'm gonna put in a couple of things first off I put in the title of the article then I put in via and then the at sign now this is a person 
his ID on Twitter. And by doing this, I'm going to show up in their mentions screen. So <clears throat> mentions over here, if I take a look in, um, in Hootsuite, you'll see that mentions are places where people have mentioned me. So I could always see when people have said something about me out here in Twitter. And I want these people to know that I'm quoting them. And there's a reason behind this, because not only am I sharing good content with my audience, but they also have an audience. And I want them to see that I have shared content of theirs. And because of that, they may go to my site and decide that they want to share content back. So they may take a look at my site and say, oh, this is a pretty interesting article. I want to go ahead and share that information with um, with my audience as well. So this is also a way of networking with your like peers out there in the online world. So I put in the name of the article, I put in who it's from, the link, and then I use hashtags. And hashtags are really good ways for, in Twitter, people to be able to do searches. So I use some of the more popular ones for my audience. Small biz, small business, entrepreneur, and SM, which is social media. So these four hashtags guarantee that if anybody searches for those hashtags, which they do all the time, they will see my tweet come up in that stream because this article is appropriate for them to be reading. And that's another way for me to spread my content that I've curated for them. So these go out twice a day. And I find that pretty much after I put these out, I get some more followers. I get people who take a look at this. I get people clicking on my link and coming back to my site and viewing my information, subscribing to my newsletter, and also um, maybe even tweeting some other articles of mine. So this has been a very steady way for me to grow followers out here in Twitter. And it's worked for me very successfully. Another platform that I curate my content on is the uh, Facebook. And in Facebook, I am going to have the same article. So here's that 18 social networks for entrepreneurs. And you'll see that the link is here. And it has a little bit of a blurb that I put out there. So this allows me to actually go and once again share my content with the people who are out there that are following me, my people who have liked this, and it'll appear there. But there's another advantage to this, and I want to show you how that works. If I want them to know that I shared their content, so if I go here and I take the URL, so I'm going to take the URL off this page, I'm going to copy it, and go over here and share it as a link. So I attach it. You'll see that it automatically puts in my article. It's using the right image too. You can actually change the image and choose which ones you want to use, but that's actually the right one. And now I get to say something about the link. I can say this is a very interesting article on the cloud from, and now I could do the at. Matt about business. And you'll see that because I've liked Matt about business, I can do this and it pops up. Now, if when I hit share, it will put the article onto my wall. If this Matt about business was a separate article or a separate business than mine. So let's say this was somebody else, Mad About Business, instead I did Mashable or someplace else. This would actually appear on their wall as well. So by tagging it, I'm actually making this appear on their wall as well, which is pretty interesting because not only do I see it or my folks see it on my wall, but they also see it on the other wall. So they know, number one, that I have shared their content, and they can go ahead and thank me and maybe share some of my content. And their readers also see my content and on their wall, and they can go ahead and come on over here and see what I'm all about and maybe subscribe to my newsletter and like me over here. And so that's how you could use tagging in Facebook to actually have a... Um, somebody um, see your content on their wall. So again, what I did was I put in the content and then to tag somebody I could do an at. So let's say I want to do SEO, web SEO analytics. 
if I posted this and shared this, this would show up on Web SEO Analytics wall. And that's how you share um, information on Facebook when you're curating content to make it most effective. Now, what kind of effect does sharing this content have? I'm going to use a tool called CrowdBooster to show you how using the curation method can actually grow your presence online in social media. So if I take a look through my um, tweets that have gone out, I could take a look here and I could find, uh, they have a nice chart, how are my tweets doing? And what they show here is in the past month, because uh, I'm doing the monthly look, which of my tweets have been tweeted and um, reached the most people. And this is an example of one of the curated tweets that I sent out. How are folks using LinkedIn profiles? Find out with infographic uh, via Lab42 Research, and then I put the link, and of course I put in the um, pound signs, which are the hashtags. Now, what I could see here is that one person retweeted it, but that one person had 9,000 867 people who follow them, which means that I have 2,195 people following me, and they have that extra amount of people following them. Therefore, I was able to really boost the amount of people who I reached by sharing this article. And that's very powerful and a really good example of how curating content can build your social media presence, bring you more followers and more people to your site in order to view your content and your services and product offerings.